This is incredible. Man, oh man, what a scene. Looks like lots of restaurants there, but uh, my hotel, I think, is on this side. So, well, let's go ahead and walk while we got some light left. So, that is the bus for Kukesh. I saw the sign, I waved my arms like crazy, he just blew past. So, damn, now I'm in a rough spot. It's probably gonna be a while until the next one and then maybe that one doesn't stop. So. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Maybe it was full. Or it doesn't stop here. Or who knows. But uh, that's a bummer. So things are working out in a very good way. That's my bus. You probably can't see. It is going to Prizren in Kosovo. So after the uh, Kukes bus, you can see a sign there, Kukes Morin. After that, uh, it was a mini bus past me. Then the uh, guys at the uh, fruit stand right there where I was standing they knew that I was going to Kukes, I'd mentioned it uh, to them before. And so the guy then suggested to me, he didn't actually speak any English, but uh, made it clear that I should go forwards up the road a little ways. And apparently that was going to be a better uh, bus stop, so I decided to give that a try. And it is a damn good thing that I did that in the end because of this big bus. So I went just like, you know, a few hundred feet down the road, there was a gas station there and a much larger area for buses to pull over. If I had been back at the uh, same spot, I don't think that that bus would have stopped for me there. There just wasn't enough room. It would have had to have like stopped in the road. So that was just an absolute stroke of luck. This was just like five, 10 minutes after I got to the other uh, spot where I was standing. So great news, I'm headed to Kosovo, assuming that the border crossing goes smooth. I am not sure if I need a COVID test. I highly doubt it, but I did not researched that one online beforehand i just kind of figured just do it and if it doesn't work then i'll come back into albania i would actually be fine with seeing some more of albania but kosovo was kind of my main uh, destination as opposed to exploring more around albania this time so looking forward to it prizren is supposed to be a very nice city and it is only like another hour or so down the road so gonna get there uh, fairly soon Assuming that uh, the border crossing goes smooth, we can hope.
Hadi da öp üzerini. Almost to prison. 20 minutes away. So I got a funny text message. Welcome to Monaco. This is definitely not Monaco. Monaco is on the French Riviera. This is Prizren, the second largest city of Kosovo. I booked a hotel sitting on the bus for three nights. It is cold. Let's uh, check the temperature. It feels like it's in the 30s. Getting close to freezing. What do we got here? I'm guessing 39. Thirty-seven. I am gonna be thinking about going somewhere warmer after this for sure. So three nights here and then Christina the capital of Kosovo is not too far away. I forget, hour or two. For sure head there, I don't know. Maybe rent a car and explore around some more. But uh, it is colder than Tirana, Albania for sure. So I've now been to every Balkan country. Greece counts as Balkans, Albania, North Macedonia, or Macedonia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Slovenia. I'm not sure about like Bulgaria and Romania, but been there as well. So the Balkans puzzle is complete, I'm pretty sure. Looking forward to getting checked into my room. I have about a 12-13 uh, minute walk 
definitely an interesting walk. I know very, very little about this country. Time to learn something. I know about the war, of course, in the 90s. Remember hearing about it on the news. Apparently Bill Clinton is a real hero of Kosovo. There's a statue of him, I think, in Pristina. So we got uh, Shatervan Square. Watermill of Tabakane. Ethnographic Museum, Vinbashi Fountain Clock Tower. Mosque. I will definitely be checking those out in the coming days, so uh, just three nights booked for now, and then I'll see after that if I want to stay a little bit longer, but uh, I have no time pressure, no flight booked out yet. I will be looking into that in the coming days. Looks like I am there. Whatever that means. My hotel is close to the river, I think fairly central. We'll see. So we got the river right here. Not a very big river. But a cute, fairly pretty one. Mosque. Some nice bridges. And my hotel is getting closer. Six, seven minutes walk straight down this way. This is looking like a very interesting city. Definitely something different about it. Today just worked out brilliantly. In case you didn't see the first video, then I left Tirana, capital of Albania, this morning around 10 o'clock, planning to visit the town of Kruje, a little town kind of up in the mountains a little bit outside of Tirana, about an hour. But I didn't have things planned out. I didn't know buses and stuff after that. So I caught a minibus to Kruje, and then from there, after exploring around for an hour or so, then I caught a uh, minibus down to this town in the valley down below it, and then at that point realized there's no direct bus going from there up to the border. And so I talked to some guys and they said basically just stand on the highway and wait for a bus to come along going in that general direction. And so I did that and quite quickly then got a bus going to where I started this video, kind of middle of nowhere there. And the people on that bus said that there would be another bus coming sometime soon to the town of Kukes, which was very close to the border. I was thinking of staying there last night or just see when I get there, how much time was left in the day. And then a bus heading for Kukes with the sign on the windshield of Kukes passed me and didn't stop. And so I was rather dejected and wondering what to do if that's going to be the case with other buses, but they aren't going to stop there. No taxis around, total middle of nowhere. And then it was just like a stroke of luck that uh, ended up catching that bus to Prizren because I wasn't dead set on getting to Prizren today. thought I might do it tomorrow, but I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that it worked out this way because for one thing, Kukaz did not look like anything. It wasn't even really a town as far as I could tell. It was just kind of scattered, you know, buildings, homes and stuff. Maybe I missed the town center or whatever, but uh, it wasn't looking too happening. So this is incredible. Man, oh man, what a scene. Looks like lots of restaurants there, but uh, my hotel, I think, is on this side. So 
Well, let's go ahead and walk while we got some light left. Walk along the restaurant walkway. Man, a cacophony of azans. I am ready for a meal. I am hungry. Somewhere warm. Look at this place up ahead. They got uh, fires going on inside. Nice and cozy looking. What is Kosovo food? I do not know. I am ready to find out. That's a coffee shop. Up ahead is the uh, restaurant with the fires. Nice pedestrian zone here. I dig the feel of this town. Okay, let's uh, cross back over. And I think this is it. Tyronda Hotel. What an epic spot. Curious to see what kind of view I have. Hotel restaurant. All right, all right, all right. Not a bad view. Not a bad room, $52 a night. So I don't even know what the currency is here in Kosovo. I have no idea, so uh, time to find that out and get some of it and then head out there and go get some food. So the temperature is dropping. It is now 34 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about one Celsius. Looking for a restaurant and an ATM. I think that is one right there. They use the Euro in Kosovo. So the ATM gave three different options for languages. English, Albanian, and Serbian. So that uh, tells you a little something about the languages and culture here. Okay, I know this is like a touristy kind of place, but they got some good-looking stuff and great prices. You can see listed in euros, 